Put it up, put it up, put it up, put it up. Okay, mic is on. Okay, so. Boy, there's never a dull day. You know, in fact, uh, it kind of seems like Tomb Forks are getting shitted on right now across the board. I mean, you look at 2 ohm and 3 ohm, getting decimated. And a lot of us on the Elite Discord, including myself, thought it was because of based finance, because that was skyrocketing and everything else was going down. So put two and two together. No, that's not the case. Now base shares is down. Everything is down. Like everything's just getting killed. <clears throat> and Snowy All, I think, dropped like 90% now or 85% now or something. It's coming back up a little bit because it was had such a crazy correction, but. Everything is just tanking, right? But I mean, I kind of expected that too, because, you know, market FUD is just like all over the place right now. And what's weird is the main cryptos aren't really doing that bad. So it's just the new projects that are basically just getting killed. And Platinum Finance was a project I was in, and then I exited for a profit. Not much, but, you know, profit nonetheless. I had good APR, and. Again, they can't get on Yield Wolf for some reason that I'm aware of. And that's probably because they're not renouncing any of their contracts. So, anyway, uh, I think it's finally time to cover Platinum Finance. I personally am not in this, and Beluga, is, to me, is a shitty auto compounder. Like, all it does is steal all my gas fees and all my rewards. It doesn't work, right? Like, it works, like, half the time. It's, like, so frustrating. So, it's up to you guys if you want to do with it, uh, deal with it. But, for the most part, Platinum Finance... They're supposed to come out with a companion site, right? There are three of them, which is Diamond Finance. I, I don't know when it's coming out yet. I guess I don't really care anymore. Uh, but with that being said, I mean, it's got a good TVL, 1.8 mil. Um, I mean, the prices have tanked like everyone else, because I remember Platinum was like at least at like five, six bucks, I think, last week maybe. So and then you got the shares, which is called Splat, funny enough, right? you know, shares and plat, uh, you know, this thing's down too. So, I'm going to go over this real quick because Elite Discord just told me about, like, Comet, not Comet Finance, the node project, but CometFinance.io. So, I kind of want to take a look at that, you know, real quick. So, with that being said, we could just go through the motions. I'll keep this video quick. Because, you know, I kind of really want to take today off, especially with all this FUD, right, and just try to relax. But I was also thinking about maybe doing, like, how to deal with crypto FUD, because I know everyone's that anxious, right? Because even in Elite Discord, some of, our mem some of the, our members there, they're, like, you know, just, like, just fucking pissed, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. And unfortunately, it's only going to get worse, so you kind of have to just get used to it, unfortunately. But anyway, this is the base token FTM liquidity pool pair, and currently it's paying 6.41%. It used to pay around 10%. Um, so I think it's because the shares, which is splat, has gone down so much in value, so that's why the APRs are, are, are lower. But even then, you know, it's still paying out 5.36% for the share LP pool, so it's not too bad. We go over here on the, on the uh, boardroom, all right? This thing is basically 9% APR. Unfortunately, I don't have like the big yearly APR, but it's pretty much larger than anyone else. So that is technically kind of an issue because obviously that means you're going to be printing a shit ton of base tokens, right? And of course, it's still over peg for now. It's doing okay, but you know, with this kind of printing pressure, you know, it's going to keep pushing this thing down. Like technically, that's what it's supposed to do because that's the peg, but. You know, the problem is these tomb forks, and really tomb it finance itself, these things are very new, right? They're all, they've are only have been like, what, two months old, three months old for some, from some of the earliest tomb projects. And so, you know, you're just going to have like crazy swings in prices and volatility, and that's pretty much what we're seeing here. So we go over the platinum finance chart, right? You got your standard Genesis, hyper uh, pump, then dump. And as you can see, my favorite thing as always, near peg and pretty much at the bottom, right? You know, today's FUD, you know, for whatever reason, is certainly helping. And then you got the same thing here for the platinum shares called Splat, funny, right? And it already has, has had its bottom. In fact, its all-time low is $127.87. You can see it on the right-hand side of this 
little mouse thing that's moving. I'm trying to align it close to the bottom as much as I can. And it's like 50% off the all-time low, right? I mean, the share price of this used to be higher, but, you know, for a project that does not have an auto compounder, this is doing pretty well, right? I mean, you don't mind manually compounding your earnings or, God forbid, you're going to use shitty Beluga, right, which doesn't work. Horrible interface. Just, just, just... I think the site's just too new, Beluga, so. I'm going to cut them some slack. I'm going to get some of these animal crackers here. I don't know why they're called animal crackers. They don't even look like animals, right? This is like the white fudge animal cookie. Oh, these are animal cookies, not animal crackers. So, yeah, white fudge animal cookies. These are really good, by the way. So, I'll just have them later. So yeah, I mean, I don't really have much more to say. Um, yeah, aside from you can just check out the site, <laughs> platfi.app, and I don't know. I I, uh, I mean, given the circumstances, this is probably okay. But then there's also other projects so far that are even worth. They're actually all below peg, so it really just depends on your risk appetite. So maybe this is a little bit safer than the others. But I'm already involved in three new pro. Well, I'm involved in two new projects, right? And then I want to get into the Comet Finance thing. That's a third project because they're actually already on Yield Wolf. So you know I'm all about the Yield Wolf. So I definitely want to use the free money that I'm getting from the current project that I'm in because it just launched. Um, and, and then plug all that free money into Comet and then try it out. So so far everything does look pretty legit. It's just that everything is just down. Right, like we just as just massive hits all over the place. So I'll definitely pull out profit today by end of tonight before I go to bed, because now I just basically I take profit once a day every 24 hours approximately, and I do it at night, right? So the gas fees aren't crazy. Because if you go over here, I mean, just look at what was the site again? Coin App, Coin App Gas Tracker. It's Coin App, right? Uh, no, this is not the right site. I don't feel like going to my Chrome to get the stupid thing. Okay, so I am going to... What is the name? Cointool.app. Cointool.app. Alright. So here... Right, we look at the gas price. Look at Phantom right now. Okay. Look at this. Actually, it's actually lower. It's actually lower than before, but... we're. I mean, Jesus. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. It just went back up. So, I mean, the problem with when all the markets are panicking, this is basically what always happens. Everybody just starts buying and really more selling. And then all that selling pressure jams up the network. And then we go to FTM. Scan. Gas. All right, we go to their gas tracker. All right. Look at what is hogging up all of the freaking bandwidth. It's spooky swap because everyone's dumping all their tokens. And then these other contracts that you see that also have large amounts of money, this is actually unusually large. What's probably happening is everyone is unstaking their pr tokens and then they're breaking apart their LP tokens, which is of course spooky swap. That's all these stupid fees. And then they got to dump all their tokens, right? And then after they dump all their tokens, they then have to buy stable coins, most likely, all right? Because when you got shit hitting the fan like it is, what's the one thing that does actually is 100% safe, essentially, on crypto? It's a stable coin. You don't buy anything else. The exception might be Joe tokens, because that thing I always call, I always consider Joe tokens essentially a stable coin, even though technically it's not. It behaves like one, essentially, all right? And that's why Joe tokens right now are actually holding their value really well. You know, in fact, it went up quite a bit. Now it's back down to like 108, 109. Fine by me. Ah, damn, just my just my luck and timing. Okay, my Firestone Idol RPG has just, you know, went live. So I just got to uh, click all my buttons here. Uh, let's see, I've got some research I got to do. So we'll do raining gold, and of course, I'm going to farm more items. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm just going to issue long-term orders, so I can just keep streaming here. Well, not streaming, but recording. So, 
yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's not really much more to say. Maybe I should actually do do the how do you deal with FUD, but I don't. The thing is, I tell people what to do. It works for me personally. That's what I do. That's why I always seem uh, cool and calm, right? Yeah, because I am. Like, yeah, it sucks, but I'm like, no, well, there's another day at the office, you know? So, you know. But anyway, that's Platinum Finance. I'll see you in the next video, which I believe is Ape Universe. So I gotta kind of grab that around. So the... So they're actually not going with a lot of suggestions that we talked about. So they're going with something different. Uh, but with that being said, they still have something planned to kind of try to deal with like whales and stuff. So I guess we'll just see. Uh, but with that being said, if you really want to deal with the FUD, I mean, the really the only way to correctly do this is don't put in all your money. Put in a very small. I've said this a million times. This is the only way you're gonna win, right? That's very safe. You got to put in a little bit of money in each of these projects. Ideally, you want Yield Wolf, right? So you're auto compounding. And then it also does auto accounting for you, right? Because all you do is just wait 24 hours and then just pull out a little bit more money. And then pull out 25 to 33% of all the tokens that you made out of thin air in these tomb forks or whatever project you're in. And just take that out every 24 hours and convert all that money into whatever you want. You know, personally, I would just go into stable coins, unless you're going to new projects like I am. Then you store a stable coins, and then when the new project comes around, you want to try it out, especially because in my case, I need new content, so I always try out new things. I take my stable coins at that point, and then I convert it into the new project tokens and start farming that. And then now I have two projects, like for example, then I have 15 tomb forks, then I have 16, then I have 17. And all of these things are, you know, building me cash flow, right? Now, the amount of cash flow it throws off goes down pretty much across the board because of all the FUD. But, you know, I'm a good judge. I'm a great judge of character, and I make sure that the developers are legit. And, of course, usually the communities are pretty nice. But as long as the devs do not lose morale, they are legit, and the project's legit, the project will still be around. I mean, look at Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb. That's... The prices on there are doing horrible, right? But they're still alive and trying to kick, right? You know, you know, keep kicking, uh, fighting back and stuff. That's all you can really ask for, and you just gotta ride this bullshit out, right? When does it end? Uh, it ends uh, in the middle of March or the end of March, really, like the third week of March, because that's when the fucking asshole Federal Reserve finally meets. You know, they get together, right? And we need them to raise interest rates so that all the world markets can, you know, rest assured that inflation, quote unquote, is being fought, all right? Because when the Fed, because it was widely expected that the rates were going to be raised back in January last month. But did you notice that they did not raise rates and what happened? Everything tanked. That doesn't happen normally, all right? Because, you know, you heard me mention Gregory Manorino and I'll mention this again. Right. The markets were expecting a rate hike and we did not get it. So there was a vote of no confidence. That's why Bank of England now and other central banks are raising interest rates because they realize if we don't raise interest rates, we're going to fuck everything up. And it's not it was not ready. It was not time to do that just yet. So in March, that's and that's what the Federal Reserve said right back in January. They're going to raise interest rates in March. So they better do that, because if they don't. Well, then it's over. It's over. We're, we're all going to lose our money, right? Everything go, uh, dies, and then the debt markets will implode. And then I think, and if the debt markets implode, I think what should actually happen is after crypto also goes down with the rest of the markets, all of that money that's floating around from all the sell-offs in the bond markets, which is this, right? Because we're talking tens of trillions of dollars. Right, you don't see how much money is in here, but all the world's money is actually in this, U.S. Treasury uh, bonds, specifically the 10-year bonds. So all of this money has to go somewhere. Well, it's going to go into actually cryptocurrencies, I hope, because that's what it's supposed to do. But there's just way too much chaos going on. So hopefully we just don't have to deal with that. The Fed just raises the stupid interest rates in March, and then we can go back up you know, to rippy mode. And then, you know, it'll be business as usual until, you know, the next stupid flood crisis. So, and even that, and even when that happens, if all, if everything goes as planned and we're all back to making a lot of money, you got to do what I'm recommending you. Take profit. Keep taking fucking profit. 
25, 30% per day, every 24 hours, and then compound the rest, right? You want to take more than that. That's not, that's actually not a bad, a bad play either. I don't personally do that because I want to keep growing my shit. But the point is, you know, you have to have savings and reserves because you know that all this is going to come crashing down at some point, you know, especially in crypto. Everything always goes down. That's just how it goes. All right. Until more time passes, I'm talking years, we get Ethereum 2.0 scaling, right? Or somebody comes out with scaling, like actual scaling, and it goes live. Then all these other asshole blockchains like Phantom and Avalanche and Polygon, whatever, they can copy the code and implement scaling for themselves so that we can stop dealing with these stupid gas fees because these stupid gas fees really effing suck. I really hate them. So do you, right? But that's because there's no freaking scaling, right? It's taking for it's taking Vitalik Bruder and like the guy who founded Ethereum or whatever forever, right? But it looks like it's coming out, right? I don't know why people are saying are saying since summer. That's not what the website said. They said earliest is 2023 next year, right? Early 2023, all right? But you know it'll get done whenever it gets done, so. All right, in the meantime, ride the bear, hang tough, right? Do not overinvest because trust me, anything that you're going to put your money into, unless it's a stable coin, that shit's going down, all right? I went into Snowy Owl knowing full well it was going to go down. I was just kind of hoping it would maybe last another day or two, but that's okay. You know, I already pulled out a little bit of money. I have a lot of profits. I'm still, I should be kind of close to basically playing with house money. All right, I guess I could tell you. So basically, I put in a total of $750 in a Snowy Owl on Yield Wolf. I pulled out initially $500, bucks and I pulled out another $250 I did the past couple days, then I cleaned today. And now that position in Yield Wolf is now worth about, I assume it went down, so let me see. Uh, no, I'm in the, shit. Hold on a second. Uh, shit. Okay. Uh, I actually need to keep this window open, Yield Wolf, for a project that I'm eyeing. So let me go back to Avalanche. Just give me a second here. I'm on Chrome, so that's why you're not going to see anything, of course. Snowy, Snow Joe. There we go. Seventy-one percent. Yeah. Right now, I play with. I basically play with risk-free profit because I got my original principal back, and it's all in like other projects. Right now, my position is worth three hundred and thirty-eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. So out of thin air, I have a free cash-flowing asset called Snow Joe on Yield Wolf that is worth basically three hundred thirty-nine dollars, paying me seventy-one percent daily APR. That's how you win the fucking game. All right, that's how you win this shit. All right. Because, yeah, and, and look what happened with the price of freaking snow, all right? How, how did I just win when this fucking idiot coin, snow token, has gone down, like, what, minus 88% in the last 24 hours, all right? Yeah, auto compound, take profits every day, and then everything else after that is, it, this is exactly what I taught in 2016, 2017 when I started doing these shitty cryptocurrency videos, right? Compound, compound, compound. And then back then, 808 coin, you know, you had to wait like 8.08 uh, .08 days. So every week, you know, I pulled out 30%. That's it. In this case, because things are a lot more accelerated, I pull out profits every 24 hours. But it's the exact same principle. Pull profit, pull profit, pull profit, pull profit, all right? If you're fudding and panicking, it's because you're not listening to me, all right? Because you're not pulling profit, all right? I'm going to hammer this shit into your heads until all of you, you know, get it through your thick skulls. And then, you know, I don't know, you can thank me later. Like, if, if I ever, if this channel ever gets large and then I become big like Cryptos Are Us, right? The We Are George... Uh, I am George, we're all George guy, right? He had George Con, so he had his own little convention. I could probably do the same thing too. You know, I'll, 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 we'll, uh, we'll hang out and stuff and we'll talk about the same thing I'm, t I'm, I'm t nagging you to death right now with. So, I don't know how much easier I can make this for you guys. All right? I've been doing this a long time. All right? I've been investing since like 2001, 2002, as soon as I tried turning 18 and I lost a shit ton of money doing all sorts of crazy shit. All right? I've been in 
Bitcoin and crypto since like 2010, 2011. So, you know, this is what works. All right. It's what made me money. It's what's continuing to make me money. And unfortunately, not making me as much money because, you know, obviously, you know, if everything goes down like it is right now, you know, I don't get as much for whatever I sell. But I'm still making money. So, and I'm still buying more and more projects. All right. I bought two projects today. Well, if I include last night, I bought a new project last night. I'm still farming it, so there'll be a video on that. It's called Apex Finance. That should just tank, by the way. I am in Pulse Dow, right? That just went live a couple hours ago, and it, and it looked like it was going to rug pull too, because the contracts and rewards were not working, but the devs actually fixed it. So, phew, right? I only put like sixty-five bucks in that. It's paying me one hundred forty percent daily APR, and I'm going to take all that profit and go into this Comet Finance thing because they're on Yield Wolf. Now, in fact, because it's actually paying out so much, I'm not even going to tell you how much it is, right? I'm going to let you. It. I want to keep that shit for myself, all right? So you know, you know. But you know, as a courtesy to you, I give you a little bit of the breadcrumbs. In fact, I told you more than enough, right? So I, the simple fact I'm not going to tell you how much daily APR it's currently paying is already just an indicator of like you know. In fact. Is it still paying that much? Wait, I'm back in Snow Joe. Hold on, I gotta go back to... Oh yeah, I kept that window specifically open. Because I was gonna go into Rip Day, because they just expanded to AVAX, but after seeing this particular project, I am definitely going into this new project. I'm not going into Rip Day. Yeah, it's already down... I'm still paying a retarded amount of money. I mean, I might actually just simply pay the fucking gas fee. Let's see, what's it at right now for Phantom? Yeah, it's still high. How much is... I mean, I've got like $9.73 worth of Pulse Dow income, so not quite enough for just yet. But yeah, the longer I wait on this, the more I lose money. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be about Ape Universe. Think about what I really said. You know, again, I don't know if I'm going to do a you know, how to do with FUD, because I don't think anyone's going to really listen, so, I don't know, just have to ride the bear, I don't know what else to really say, or I just go listen to Jesse Lee Peterson, like, you're, you're allowing Satan's thoughts to, like, you know, fuck up your mind, right, and that's exactly what the globalists want, so, you know, you gotta stop doing that, all right, thanks for listening, like, subscribe, blah, blah, uh, spread the video around, and, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.